Good afternoon. My name is Ashley here to Texans Care for Children. As a former CPS caseworker, I can't help but want to, I'm inclined to change my testimony, but I won't. But I'd be happy to follow up with offices um, to discuss the complaint process and other workforce issues. But for today, I'm going to talk about the recommendation to move the um, pregnant and postpartum intervention program and the parenting awareness and drug risk uh, education program, the DFPS. We do not support this move. Um, for a couple of reasons, in part due to Sunset's criticism of the department's current prevention efforts, and in part due to feedback we have received from DFPS, DISHES, consumers, and other treatment providers as facilitator of a year-long stakeholder group. I actually work with Cal Brias on this, working um, on the intersection of substance use and child welfare involvement. Um, I've provided written testimony to talk about all of our concerns, but I'm just going to go over a couple. In detail, the Sunset Report highlights weaknesses in the department's current prevention efforts, including the department's lack of prioritization for such programs. As mentioned in the report, DFPS has lacked a unified, consistent strategy for prevention services, its inadequate use of data to inform its decisions and demonstrate outcomes to the legislature and the public, and its historic emphasis on prevention as a contracting function rather than as a true program within DFPS. These challenges will be further exacerbated by additional programming not previously managed by DFPS. Sunset staff go on to say that prevention has long suffered from a lack of prioritization within the agency. Conversely, under DISHES, substance abuse prevention in Texas has witnessed expansion and increased funding at the state level and remains a priority for DISHES. With this more extensive experience handling state and federal funding contracts, they remain better suited to maximize funding opportunities and ensure the stability of the state's efforts to support families who are impacted by substance abuse. Lastly, the Department of Family Protective Services um, leaders at the department state they are not the experts in treatment, recovery, and, and effective programming for individuals with substance abuse um, issues. And they don't feel like they're best positioned to appropriately uh, lead these statewide efforts and support families struggling with uh, substance abuse and also co occurring uh, mental health disorders. To wrap it all up, given the Sunset's comprehensive and critical review of the department's current prevention efforts, uh, the Sunset's call to pause many DFPS initiatives, it would be reasonable and most beneficial to keep PPI and Padre at the Department of State Health Services. Thank you so much for your time, and again, um, given my previous experience at the department and now policy work, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have and follow up with all of your offices. Thank, Thank you. you. Ashley, thanks for your testimony. I'm sure some members will take you up on that. Thank you.